Along the bullying point, we like to bring you information that kind of educate you, but also challenge you a little bit on uh, new technologies, new events. Well, today I'm going to interview Shanika Jason with the American Boiler Manufacturers Association. Have you heard about this Boiler 2024 thing that's coming up May 1st through the 3rd? Well, I'm going to interview her. She's going to tell us a lot about it, and we hope that you are there today on The Boiling Point. Well, I'm Richie Ware, I'm with Ware and Shanika. We are at American Boiler Manufacturers Association, uh, actually the summer meeting. That's right. And you all are getting excited and ready for the next Boiler 2024. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, we are ramping up. Right now, boiler2024.com has been pretty built up. We've got some pretty good information out there. They can go to the website. Mm -hmm. They can see what, um, they can see the exhibit floor map. They can see what spaces are still available, what's been sold. We have the sponsorship listed on the site. We've got travel information. Our room block is open. Oh, it's so open. we are Perfect. totally moving forward. We're starting to ramp up now that summer meeting's over. Um, we're super excited. Some new things that are coming is we have a lot more going on on the show floor. We're gonna have our um, recharge station. We're gonna have our relaxation station. Our food and beverage will be on the floor this time. We have a member lounge. We have our mobile boiler parking lot right off of the exhibit floor mm. that you can see through the glass windows. Just a lot of good things this time. Hanging signage, bigger space, neat location. So we, we are super excited and we're telling you guys, come on down. Yes, absolutely. Now Boiler 22 was pretty successful and I think it, was, it actually exceeded your all's expectations. But tell us a little bit about from Boiler 22 now to Boiler 2024. Just maybe you just said some differences, but just uh, you know, just just what what is this all about? What's going on in the industry to do this? So we learned a lot from it was our inaugural show, right? Yeah. And from anything that you start with you learn, mm -hmm. you know, you're getting feedback. We went back and looked at, you know, what did people like? What did not, people not like? How could we improve? We got feedback from the exhibitors. So, you know, just growing the show in general, picking a location that was easy for people to fly in and fly out. Um, we were updating the schedule a little bit. We're still kind of playing around with the welcome reception, maybe moving that to a different night so mm -hmm. more people can attend that. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, we're trying to have more going on on the exhibit floor so people don't have to leave the show as much. Right. Um, we have just just more space, more exhibitors. Um, we're trying to get, we have a boiler room tour inside the facility mm -hmm. of the Gaylord Rocky, so they'll get to tour the boiler room of the hotel. We're trying to set up a boiler room tour of the Denver airport. Mm. Um, we have transportation now picking you up at the airport, bringing you to the show. So there is so many good new features that we have this time that we, we just learned, listen, and we're trying to improve as much as we can. Yeah, you're making it easy, um, really, as you guys are doing this. So it's just, a, just an awesome show. How about this? Um, who should be coming? Okay, so who should be coming? You know, it's we're really calling it the show for the whole boiler supply chain. We'll have manufacturers um, who will be exhibiting at the show, but we also have our new uh, membership category is the reps. Mm -hmm. And so they're really going to be a, a big part of our show this time. But we also are focusing on the end users. Okay. Those are the people, the operators, the people who are purchasing the boilers. Those are the people that we really are tailoring for this show. The content this time we're going to completely look at differently. We were looking at possibly doing tracks, mm. you know, different tracks because everyone who's attending maybe want different things out of the education. Mm -hmm. So, so we're really, really thinking long and hard and trying to improve the show as much as we can. So you actually do have some uh, seminar type stuff that's going on. Yes, we will have um, educational sessions. We will have a pre-workshop. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I said, we're still kind of looking into how we're going to uh, lay out the educational sessions, but we will have lots of educational content. We're also looking at bringing back our um, on the show floor, having the Ask the Expert series and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, within the whole um, exhibit floor. Yeah. Last thing, uh, steam industry is obviously so uh, very important. Steam and hot water industry is so very important. And we've always kind of been a part of other trade shows, like just a, a small little part that people would come see, but right. this is actually all things steam, all things boilers. 
Look, we always promote, if your product is in the boiler room, you need to be there. Yes. If you use boilers or you're part of our industry, you can't miss this. Yes. It's yes. the event of our industry. Awesome, awesome. Well, we will see you in May 2024 uh, coming up in Denver. Make sure that you are there. Steam industry is so important. There's so much that goes into to what we do, and honestly, the world kind of shuts down without it. Uh, we want to see you in Denver. Uh, thank you for tuning in. See you in Denver.